Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Oh, you get it in. Somebody's getting it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> Woo, what's going on, people? Um, it is officially Friday. It is another day of another day of another day. I know I haven't been making my videos a lot lately because I've been going through a lot of stress and stuff like that. And I feel like this, if I'm stressed out, I don't think I should make a video because there's a lot of things that I'm going to talk about that's going to be very negative and stuff like that. And that being said, you know, I've been watching through a lot of different things. Um, I've been looking at a lot of different channels. I've been watching this glam show with this new black girl with this blonde hair. And I'm like, hmm, it's kind of cute. Then I saw Basketball Wives. Hmm. Very different, very different. But I hate to say this, but Evelyn Lozado lives a life that I will live. I will find the worst motherfucking Mary. <laughs> oh, that being said, what's going on, people? Um, let me ask you this. Um, I was, have you ever said that to you? Like, you see girls who've been taking hormones and stuff like that. You're like, oh, this bitch is lovely. You start popping more hormones in your mouth because you want to make it some motherfucking feel like you that we're going to next morning. And then you got the same result. Like, why the fuck I take all them hormones and I'm so good wicked up like this? Anyway, it is what it is. Anyway, I got both of my air conditions going. I don't give a fuck, bitch. If the lights blow, it just blow. It is what it is. So, you know, and, and this is another thing that I was watching. I was watching someone else's channel. I'm not going to say their name. But someone on this channel, and they usually y'all figure it out. <laughs> I guess y'all some nosy bitches like me. Anyway. This girl stood up there about the trans, this is a sad story, I'm, I'm, I really don't want to go into this, but this is about a transsexual that was murdered in Harlem. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, caught. <laughs> so what happened was, on a lighter note, I'm going to be on the subject for a few seconds and I'm off. Um, she was saying that the transsexuals out here, what we do is, you know, we kind of lead the men on and we kind of do all these different things and stuff like that. And... You know, and I'm not going to say that that's not true, because some girls do what they want to do. Everybody thinks differently. I think differently. You think differently. Everybody else thinks differently. I'm not going to knock what everybody into. But I hate to say this, but to me, I find it very weird or strange that another transsexual would say that the girl must have said something to the guy in order for her to get murdered and stuff like that. Now, to me, myself, I always said this, and I said this before. You know, I don't say anything. A lot of girls like me, we really don't say anything. And for another transsexual to sit there and say that she, that the girl must have said she's only spooking her own tea because obviously that's what the fuck she does. And I think it's very tied. And my thing is this, is that I may be wrong what I'm about to say, but I'm just going to say it. I don't give a fuck if you don't like a motherfucker. Hit me up on my motherfucking channel so we can have a motherfucking discussion because, bitch, I will come together and block you because I'm not going to argue with you because I'm always right. It's my show. <laughs> That's not true, because I do listen to people and stuff like that. Oh, anyway, that being said, you're not going to convince me that a transsexual or a group of transsexuals or allegedly supposed to be a group, but um, I don't think it was a group. If a group probably to them was like three or um, maybe one or um, it puts me, puts me like, I, only, I haven't seen a group yet myself. All I'm seeing is two people, but anyway, they said a group. Because I knew they was going to try to play down the transsexual and stuff like that. And I have to speed up because I don't want this video to go too long because I'm not going to edit it. So, you're not going to tell me at 2 motherfucking 28 a.m. in the morning that you are not in the village. You are walking through Harlem. And it's a gang of nine guys standing outside. You don't know if it's the blood. You don't know if it's the crypts. You don't know if it's the Latin kings. You don't know what the fuck it is. Now, you being a transsexual, you're going to walk on over there to them and give them life, and you're going to make them feel a certain kind of, how y'all doing, da, 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 all that kind of stuff. It is no bitch, dog, creed, walking animal on this motherfucking earth. Man, woman, tranny, gay person, gay guy is going to walk into a gang of fucking guys at 228 in the fucking morning and try to give him motherfucking life. You must be out your fucking mind to make a fucking statement like she must have said something. She don't have to say a motherfucking thing, but this is my point of view and this is how I feel. I don't give a fuck if nobody gives a fuck about it. It is no way in hell you're going to tell me a transsexual is going to walk into a fucking gang of gods and try to give him life and try to throw motherfucking passes at one because she feels like she's that motherfucking over. It is not going to happen. It doesn't even matter when she's transsexual or not. They could be just out on a motherfucking kill. Sometimes they have motherfucking initiations where they got to shoot motherfuckers, kill motherfuckers to get inside a gang. Why the fuck would she do that? You stupid bitch. 
Oh, and she was, oh, you know what? I'm just going to leave it at that. Because then I'm about to go on for the read of what she looks like. But you know what? I'm not even going to go into all that. But I didn't like it. And it pissed me off. And I really didn't like it. And I don't. I don't condone it. And I don't feel it's another transaction. She's to say, well, um, she must have did something. Bitch, you just like society. So when your motherfucking ass is sitting up there and you about to be motherfucking murder, we'll say, well, you must have been. And I'm going to make sure it's you. So I can go check. And I'm going to say, mm. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say nothing mean because that's not me. <laughs> anyway, that being said, I get approached all the time. You know, guys walk up to me and say shit to me and stuff like that. I'm paying no mind. Because at the end of the day, the only thought runs to my head, this bitch is here to kill me. And maybe I'm wrong and maybe I'm overprotective. Maybe I'm just scary. Maybe I'm just a punk. But at the end of the motherfucking day, I'm careful. And the simple fact of the matter is like, you know, guys are like, you know, they probably forgot what I am. They ain't already know what I am and stuff like that. Motherfuckers just want to start a little conversation. Motherfuckers already been locked up. They already fucked around with transes. Already got gay people. Already been to the gay spots. They already know what the fuck I am. Whether they do know or don't know. Motherfuckers walking to me. This is what I say. Hello, how are you? Hmm. If this, and then this is question. If they ever ask. No one has asked me this question. But I'm sure it will be. Are you a man or are you a woman? I was like, oh. You know what? I'm so glad you asked me this question. Because. I'm, I'm, I'm just got out of jail. I'm about to go motherfucking do life. And my motherfucking ass is in a lot of fucking trouble. They're about to lock me up in about a day or two for fucking life. And I got to go sit my life in jail. For what? For motherfucking manslaughter. And he'll be like, well, what did you do? Oh, I'm going to be honest with you, mister. Some motherfucking man walked up to me and tried me one day. And I just motherfucking just went in on him and I killed the bitch. You know, pe men don't think that maybe I had something on me. That was other than a knife. So he'll look at you like, oh, I know this bitch ain't talking about me, but he ain't gonna say it. Cause he know goddamn well, he don't have no gun on him. He don't have no shake or nothing. So that bitch is gonna be very calm. Then he'll look at you, he'll say, well, now at this point, this motherfucker's singing. He's singing a lot. He's like, no. This bitch has just taken this whole motherfucking thing and focused it on me. So she's, I'm standing up there and I would be looking at him. And he'll be like, well, I hope everything turned out okay. And that motherfucker will walk away. Because <laughs> you know why? You never motherfucking know. And my thing is this, is that, you know, you really got to be careful when you walk into motherfuckers. Don't worry about what the fuck I am, bitch. Worry about the money that's in your pocket that should be in mine. That's what we need to worry about. Stay focused on those coins. You probably got a family card. Bitch, it's okay. I, honey, we can swipe the food stamps because you know mother likes to eat. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. But um, I always tell you girls out there, you always better be safe because this world we live in is a fierce fucking world. I get approached. You get approached. We all get approached. We have to live in the reality the reality. And it is what it is. And it doesn't just go for transsexuals. It goes for straight people, gay people, whatever the case may be. You have to really be careful because motherfuckers out here don't really give a fuck. And there's some same people I was watching Catfish. And this motherfucker was online playing like he was a girl. And he met her with the black guy. Oh, let me just play it out for you real quick. This is what happened. The black guy would want to leave this girl for who he was staying with. So he'd been talking to this bitch online and stuff like that. She all beautiful and stuff like that. But then she ended up being a porn star. So now she being a porn star, he wants to leave. He want to leave what he got at home and go meet some other bitch because she's more pretty, obviously. And she looked like some Spanish white girl or something. Who the fuck knows? But anyway, she was pretty. So the simple fact of the matter, he was like, I'm going to leave my girl. His girl ain't about to go on the show. And then he got to the spot, honey, they said at the park, and this motherfucker guy came out punching his chest. He was like, what? What? He wanted to fight the guy and everything. He was like, I'm sick of you motherfucker chief. The black guy was like, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> he said, oh, no, oh, no, honey. <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> Straight man ran and got in the car and locked the door. That's the first time in a long time I've ever saw a black man run from a white man to get inside that motherfucking car and lock it. You see, y'all always lock your cars when you see us. <laughs> see, I told you now, all black people are just black. We got some white in us. We run too. <laughs> and we lock doors. <laughs> oh, that was so racial. Anyway, that's what it is. Like I said, what the fuck I want. Anyway, I'm just saying, it, I just thought it was really funny. Oh. And for the girls who try to hit me up and stuff like that, you want to know my email address, boo, I'm not giving it to you. 
Um, I some some way some girls. Some girl wanted to send me this thing. Um, she was letting me know, and I give it to some people. Some people, if you're not on no bullshit level, and I tell you guys all this time, I talk to anybody, but don't come in with no bullshit. And this is what I'm saying, and I hope you fucking see this video, cause you're gonna gag when I say what I'm about to say, cause I don't give a fuck. But y'all haven't heard this. This is what the bitch told me, and I hope you gag, bitch. You say anything out the way, I'm blocking you. Her parents um, got killed and murdered, and they left her $7.1 million, and she needs to get my name, my address, and everything so she can put the money in my account. Bitch, boo -bye. what the fuck do I look like? Class clown in USA? Bitch, I already know what the fuck you trying to do. If you could do that motherfucking shit, you should just go ahead and do it. Send me the fucking money in a telegram. Freak, the fuck I look like? Boo boo the goddamn fool, 7.1. Who the fuck ever heard of somebody would have put 7.1 million dollars in somebody's motherfucking account for no fucking reason at all? Are you out your fucking mind? Are you crazy? Ugh, cause if I had 7.1 million dollars, mm, I would buy a wig store, which I would always be in, cause I'll be trying to every wig. Nobody would be allowed to come in unless it's a girl like me or people that's different. I'll let you try on the wig, but you know. I may let you walk out with one or two. But then again, that would be fun if I wouldn't get in your pocket. <laughs> no, but I would start my own wig store and stuff like that for the, oh, uh, the food store, of course. It'd be wigs, food, and motherfucking bonds and glue and, oh, uh, anyway, and a whole bunch of men who can't be down low. <laughs> anyway, that's what it is. Anyway, people, I want to tell you, thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. I want you to do you. I want you to do you the best way you can. If nobody don't like it, then fuck them.